Okay, so this video is a little bit different than usual. We're not gonna be talking about anything rotary related. I'm gonna talk to you guys about what I've been up to the last couple months. Um, around December last year, I decided to get a side-by-side. -side. I went out with a couple friends to Glamis and I had a blast. And being over there, I saw the way everybody was modifying their side-by-sides and you know, there, it's like the, it's exactly like the car scene, you know? Just, Give it your own taste, your own flavor, and do whatever you want with it and make it your own. So I decided to start working on my side-by-side -side and making it stand out, making it, giving it my own touches, you know? So uh, with that said, this is my 2021 20, Yamaha YXZ. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing. Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving. I'm going to take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got it. This is my 2021 20, Yamaha YXZ XTR. The XTR, the only difference between the XTR is like little minimal stuff. Like you got a winch, the color scheme. I think the suspension is a little bit different, but we'll get into that right now because it really doesn't matter because I changed everything out anyway. So, so yeah, let's get to it. Um, so as you can see, I already have a lot of work done to this thing. Um, this is not the way it comes from the factory. The first thing I did when I got it was replace the row cage. So the row cage that these machines come with do not look safe at all. And they're known to collapse if you flip them. So I went with this row cage. This is this is a LSK radius row cage. And then after I did the cage, I ordered some seats because the stock seats on these are pretty bad. There's no bolsters and it's a regular like three-point seat belt like a regular car and um yeah that's not gonna work if you flip so i decided to get these bucket seats from prp with a five-point harness which that's great that's gonna hold you in really good and i was already going prp so might as well decided to do the steering wheel as well kind of match everything up um while I was doing that, the next thing I got for this was the stereo. So this is a SSV um, sound system. It's pretty awesome, actually. It sounds really loud. It's gonna make uh, the trips and the riding just that much more fun. So this kit actually comes with two speakers that are down by um, the foot area on either side. And then you got a subwoofer, a 10 inch subwoofer behind the passenger seat. And then I opted to get two more extra speakers back here make it just that much louder so um awesome kit sounds great and then the next thing we did was suspension so i did a long travel kit which extends the wheelbase from 64 inches to 72 inches and with this uh wheel tire setup i have right now i think it sits at 75 or 76 inches wide so this is a long travel kit by lsk and then i went with the demon axles and weller springs i had the guys at fast lab do this for me i didn't want to touch the suspension and these guys have all the experience so i had them install it for me and set up the suspension just for what i'm using it for it's going to be primarily hitting the dunes so can't wait to try this thing out so i did all this work to the machine and i still haven't got to experience it or try it out so i will be doing that in october for the halloween weekend so i'm excited for that and then uh let's see let's move on for the let's move on to the next thing which is the wheels i got these method wheels with the sand sport paddle tires these are 14 inch method wheels with 30 inch sand tires. And then uh, I replace the doors because the stock doors actually come down right here. They follow like this line right here. So when you look at it from a distance, it, I don't know, I just don't like the way that looks. So I decided to go with these doors from Fuel Customs. Just kind of make everything straight 
and I think it gives it a better look. So um, I got the doors and then I wrapped them the same color as the machine and I ordered the same decals from Yamaha. So it keeps the same, uh, the same theme going, you know? And then what else we got over here? We got the fog lights. I really don't know the brand of these. Um, got them from a friend. Um, they work. I didn't know they're not the greatest, but they work. Then we got some dragon fire side mirrors. These things are pretty uh, durable and beefy and you can tell they're heavy duty, so these are great. I just put this windshield on. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna run it or not. I, it's easy, just some, it's just some Velcro holding it. Probably when I get to Glamis, you know, take it for a spin. If I like it, then I'm gonna keep it on. If not, then I'm gonna take it off. So it's kind of like one of these things that I guess I'll see when I get there. Um, we move on to the back. We've got this box right here that I feel like is perfect for the YXZ. It just really follows the lines. It's by a company called Tesseract. This thing is big. You can fit a helmet in here. You can fit a bunch of stuff. You see, I still got a lot of space to put so many other things in here. So this is a cool box. I think it really kind of follows the line to the YXZ. Let's see, we get to the engine. We got an exhaust right there. That's a Vance and Hines exhaust. This thing is pretty cool. I like it because it's not its not really loud at all. It sounds just right, you know? I didn't want something loud and annoying that's gonna just kind of drive me crazy. So um, I think this one's gonna work out just fine. Then if we move over here, I did the alternator upgrade. This is a dirt launch alternator it's a 50 amp so it's gonna be perfect so I could run the sound system and the whips and I won't have any issues with uh, my batteries draining or anything like that so I could run all my accessories and I should be fine the last thing I installed on this was the turbo kit so these machines are not turboed from the factory so I decided to add a turbo this is from dirt launch this is the stage one kit which claims about 215 flywheel horsepower, which is probably about 160 wheel horsepower, I'm guessing. But these machines, like I said, I took it to Glamis and I had a great time stock. And in stock form, it was capable of doing whatever I wanted to do. There wasn't anywhere I couldn't go with this machine. So this machine is already very capable. And in stock form, I think they make about, I want to say 90 horsepower to the wheel, like 85 or 90 horsepower to the wheel. So they're not that powerful at all. But trust me, in the sand, they, they're fun. These things, you can have a lot of fun with these things with that power. So now with the turbo kit, I doubled the power and I can't wait to see how this is going to feel. It's going to be probably a handful, but... Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be really fun. Just driving this machine up and down the street, you can tell it's a whole different animal now. Completely different machine. It's so much faster. It's just, I can't even explain it. Like if you drive a stock one and then you drive a turbo one, it's just night and day. You cannot compare these things. They're completely different. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. And um, I hope you guys like this video. I know it's different than most of the other stuff I make. But I will be going to Glamis, like I said, in October, and I'm going to try to make a video over there of uh, hopefully everything goes good. Because like I said, I haven't driven this thing. I haven't tested anything. So just going up and down the street. So I hope nothing breaks and uh, we have a fun trip. I'm going to try to get a video of uh, our adventures over there. But like I said, I hope you guys like this stuff. If you do, give it a like. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.